If you love casting dry flies, then you're going to love this episode. Imagine a place where the river is teeming with wild Atlantic salmon who eagerly take dry flies. How about a salmon lodge that is both affordable and easily accessible? Today I'm the guest of Arlock Outfitters and my fishing fantasy is about to unfold on the legendary main river in Newfoundland. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association Orvis Sporting Traditions Scientific Anglers Umpqua Feather Merchants Superfly, Fly Fishing Made Easy After a short flight to Newfoundland, I boarded a helicopter in Deer Lake for the trip into the rugged mountains heading to Arlock Outfitters Lodge. The flight is visually spectacular and you're transfixed by the beauty of this dramatic land. We looked intently, taking it all in, while scanning the many tree lines for moose and caribou that inhabit the highlands. This is truly a magical place. Six years before, Bill Spicer had visited Main River and he told me it was the best dry fly fishing for salmon he had ever experienced. So it's not surprising my excitement was peaking and I wanted to get to the lodge and get into my waders as soon as possible. My guide for this special trip is a true Newfoundlander. Sharp of wit and always ready with a joke, Ralph Wenzel is a consummate professional guide he understands the moods of this river and its fish. He knows what flies work and won't work. Best of all, he's a true gentleman and a real pleasure to spend time with. So Ralph, this looks really good. In fact, when we were walking up, we see already seen a couple of fish roll. And I'm pretty pumped, but I also know this is a small piece of water. I can spook them and I can do this wrong. Can you explain to me, how do you want me to break this down? Well, I'd say you start on a dead drift with that dry fly. Mm -hmm. Cast slightly upstream, let it drift down, start short, down by the edge just off of the bank there, mm -hmm. and let it drift, and not try not to make any splashes to disturb the fish. And when you hook a fish, try to get him up in the calm water. Okay. And when he hits the calm water, he, he hasn't got the current to, to his advantage. Mm -hmm. and you get him in the calm water, and then we can have a quick release. Right. And now he's going to, of course, want to go down river, but I'm going to do my best. And we're using barbless flies, so there's probably a good chance we're going to lose some fish here. But if I can, fight them up, put them up here by this boulder in the slack water, land them, let them go, and then we can carry on to rest the pool for a few minutes and then go back again, right? Exactly. Oh, it's good fish too. It's a nice fish. Let them have a few runs and then we'll work it out. Yeah. Whoa. It's a jumper. So, it's got me taking it up into the slack water. So far, this fish has been very cooperative. But I'm sure that'll change. Yeah, he's coming upstream like we want. Okay. eight weight rod and a barbless hook. So we've got things going against me, but at the same time, let this fish fight it out. And I'm not gonna tire him too much. The water's cold here, so it should be good. So 
I think he's ready now. He's trying to get me up around this rock. Oh, no, 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 not on the rock. Okay, here he comes, Ralph. Get the head up. There you go. Oh, perfect. You got it out? Yep, it's okay. out. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's let him go. Beautiful. Good job reviving there him goes. there. And the water's nice and cold here, and it's a cold day. I mean, everything's perfect for doing good catch and release uh, procedures. Yeah, good job. Ralph, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Good Nothing job. like the slimy, stinky hand of a fresh salmon. There's nothing like the smell of salmon. That's right. I love it. Well, in the calmer water, you got to skitter it to make more of a faster movement. Now, in the current, faster current, you don't have to skitter. But where there's so calm a water, you got to have action. Now, down in the faster water, you, the fly is moving faster, so you really don't have to skitter. And another thing I've, I've learned through the years, when you skitter it, it's like it's trying to get away. You know, it's trying to escape. Yeah. And of course, escaping prey, it's like it's trying to escape and it tastes the salmon to take it on the it's like escape. The fly that did all the damage was designed by Ralph the day before I came. It is a variation on several dry fly brook trout patterns. In my honor, Ralph dubbed it Collins Killer, and it sure did the job. Got him. And you got him, that's a different one. Yeah, that's a, one. That's a different fish, yeah. That is a different fish. Yeah, I'm on the reel here. That's a quick retrieve, eh? Yep. There we go. That's a good technique. No. Just use. He's a jumper. Use the edge of the reel to get it in. Oh yeah, look at these jumps. This is nice. That's Atlantic salmon fishing at its best. Especially you can get them on dry flies. Dry fly is a great take. Okay. Okay, I'll get you stand back right, on the, I'll on the stand grass. Back, I'll stand back here. Come back around the grass and get yeah. them in. And I'll watch, bring them in head just first. Watch the rocks. You want to get in position? All right. Head up. On the main river, there are so many fish and so many excellent holding waters, it's important to move frequently. Once you have adequately covered the waters with your fly and shown it to potential takers, then it's time to move to another spot. We're looking for active fish who will move quickly to a fly. No need to waste time flogging the waters trying to induce a take when there's lots of water and lots of fish. One of the things I've been learning over the years is to find productive waters and eliminate those waters where fish aren't. We're salmon fishing, not that much different than trout fishing. We're trying to find the spots in this run right here where the salmon are going to hold. A good example, this cut right here, this nice V, when the salmon are coming up from the fast water, they're going to hold here and rest on the edges, behind rocks, in front of rocks, seams, anywhere where they can get out of the current. And that's where they're going to rest for a few minutes before they continue their journey. Trout do the same thing when they're looking for food. They want to be in the most efficient place where they have to expend the least amount of energy when they go out and get food. Have a look at some of these animations and this discussion of where fish hold and why. When searching for salmon, they'll often hold in the hydro cushion in front of large rocks and boulders. Of course, also cast the seams behind rocks and boulders as these are natural holding waters for fish. Ensure you cast to the tail of pools or runs. Sand will often lie there, resting after moving up river through rapids or heavy current. In this animation you can clearly see how salmon will often hold tight to the bank. This is why stealth is so important when fishing on a small river like the Maine. Your guide will help direct your cast to where fish will hold and what the best presentation is. Oh, 
Oh, Ralph, this guy has just been jumped. Oh, look at that. Got it. Oh, wow. He hammered it. So I did what you told me, Ralph. The ripple, uh, I, I used that thunder and lightning. Oh, yep. and put it past that rock. And what I did was I made 10 casts to the same spot, swinging it by, swinging yeah. it by with this riffling hitch until it aggravated enough that it took it. It finally took it after yep. all those casts, eh? Yeah, and he just, boom. Pissed him off. Oh, look at that. Nice fresh fish too. Looks yeah, he's bright, bright. Well, let's go up river. He's going to jump again, yeah, most likely. He's, no, he's, he's getting he's, I get his, yeah. Soon as I got him tired enough, I'll get his head up. Yep. I'll bring him right to you, okay? Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, he's a leaper? Yeah. Love the way these fish jump. How could you not like salmon like this? We've uh, switched over to using wet flies and the world famous Portland hitch, also referred to as a riffling hitch. Okay, I'm gonna get this head up. You ready? There you go. All right. Whew. Persistence pays off. I did what Ralph told me, and I just basically agitated that fish into striking. And you wanna, you wanna, yeah, you wanna, I, I, I wanna release him? Sure, if you don't mind. Yeah, you release him. And I, and I just show right. him quickly to the camera. Yeah. Look at that beautiful fish. There he is. Beautiful Atlantic grills. And he's ready to go. Give him Hold a little him. tickle here. Yeah. Hold him for a bit. Yeah. He must have made eight to ten jumps, I'd say. Yeah, he beat himself up pretty good. Hold him for a little bit longer. See if he swings he's away. He's kicking. Yep. And there he goes. There he goes. Well done. Good, good Thank you, sir. Good release. Thank you. And again, persistence. Ralph told me, just keep putting it there. Sure enough, work. Work. You're a good guy. Thank you, Thank sir. You. So one of the things I got taught many years ago coming here to Newfoundland and Labrador, what works really well when you're using these topwater flies is to use a single piece of straight mono. So I'm not using a tapered leader. I'm especially not using something with knots in it. And one of the reasons why is that I was told that causes a lot of drag, the knots, especially as we move into the faster water over here. It's not too bad right here, it's not that necessary. But when I get into the faster water, the uh, knots, if you've got them in a tapered leader, or just even a leader that's broken down in two or three pieces, they'll cause micro drag, which impacts the way your fly drifts. So here, you don't need it. Just a good quality, solid piece of leader. This one is uh, nine, 10 feet long and perfect, and with these flies, easy to turn over. The main river is, is our river is such a, such a special river, uh, you know, and, and, and the reason people want to come here and fish here, and the people, and people want to come back and fish here, is because it's, it's so accessible, the pools are so accessible, we've got pools that are really, really close to the lodge, we've got 16 pools all together, you know, both below and, ab and above the lodge, and they're easy, easy to get to. And almost every one of the pools is just perfect for dry fly fishing. If you're a dry fly fisherman, our pools are perfect for that. As can often happen in Newfoundland, the cold waters of the Atlantic Ocean are having an impact on the weather. It's cold for July, and a heavy fog hangs in the air. Though somewhat dark and gray, that does not matter. In fact, the lack of winds is making for ideal dry fly conditions. We just need the salmon to cooperate. Got one. Got one. Whoa, just like that. First cast. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's gone. No. no, he's okay. No, I slept. Oh. Whoa. That was like five jumps in a row. And this fish is nice and bright right here in front of me. Right in front of me. And what I put on was a little brown bug with an orange hackle. 
and obviously it was the right choice. Oh, now, where would you like me to bring him in? Right here? There he goes. All right, I think this guy's ready. And uh, we, we've really worked hard to earn this fish. And we've been fishing for about three or four hours, and there's lots and lots of fish here. I mean, we've, we're seeing them. There's lots of fish. It's just the conditions. So even, there you go. He's about ready. I'll bring him right. So head first, I'll bring him into you. He's got it right in the top of the mouth. Okay, coming to you there. All right, all right. That's excellent. All right, the fly already popped out. Fly came out. All right, Ralph. Okay. I think just give him a little rest there. Revive him. Okay. Go ahead, yeah, that's great. Oh, he's already kicking. He's he's almost ready to go. Look at him go. All right. Good job. Congrats. That. Congratulations. Well, this morning we had really tough fishing conditions. It was cold, misty, low ceiling, and you know something? We knew going out it was going to be tough, and it was. We saw salmon, but we couldn't get them to come to the fly. We only had a few bump it. Ralph went through everything he could think of. I was doing everything I could. We did the best we could. But towards later in the morning, as the sky started to lift a bit and got a little bit warmer, fish seemed to be a little more active. We figured out what would work. We got one and landed it and lost another. So it wasn't too bad. Went in for lunch, got a new strategy, and now we're here on one of what they have 16 plus pools on this river, and we're the only anglers here. So this is gonna be fresh fish that have never seen a fly. Let's see if we can get one. Wanna give it a try, Ralph? Yes, we'll give it a try. casting a eight weight rod and here in the main river system a seven or eight weight like this is a nice uh, Orvis fast action eight weight rod They're, it's perfect for the conditions but if you were in a place say on the Rescue River or some of the big rivers in Labrador you probably want to use a nine or ten weight because you're punching bigger flies often into heavy winds plus you're fighting bigger fish but here on the island Newfoundland seven or eights perfect Okay, Ralph, I'm gonna step back. I'm kind of here on the edge, and I'll bring him right into this pocket here above the chute. And I think he's ready to come in. He's tired. Okay, there he is, got his head up. Oh, no, not quite. Whoa, get away from the rock, get away from the rock. Okay, he's got rolled a bit there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, get his heads up. Bring him into the net and yes! I gotta tell you, when you have tough conditions in a great place, you gotta have a good guide who gives you good advice. And Ralph's giving me a, a great bit of advice. And it, hey, Ralph, we experimented lots and made it work. So let's get this fish going here because he fought really well. Why don't you pop the fly? Flies yeah. out. Yep, barbell flies. Flies out. Okay, good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, he's ready to go. We're making it work. Thanks to you. Man, You're thanks doing a good to, job. And thanks to you. It's a, we're a team. We're a team. We're doing it. We're having so much fun. And like I said, this is a river that's got so many fish in it. Tough conditions, making it work. All right, let's get another one. Lee Wolf found this place on the main river. And he loved it so much, he, he kind of kept it to himself. He, has, he had a little place here where he would come and fish. And that, so this was over 50 years ago. It's been catch and release fishing only on this river for decades. And that's why if you come and fish here, you're going to experience it like Lee Wolf did. We're on the main river in Newfoundland, 
the main river has been designated a Canadian Heritage River. And, and for good reason. It's just a spectacular river. Uh, the scenery here is, is just out of this world. We're in old growth forest. Uh, you sit out on, on the balcony of our lodge and just, uh, it's, it's so peaceful here. Um, our rivers are teeming with salmon and brook trout. You could look out, look out the window and see a moose uh, crossing, the, crossing the river right in front of us. You know, it's just, it's just out of this world. Okay, now the key will be to get this guy yep. up. Oh, get him on the reel. And so we're at the top of a chute, going down to a small waterfalls. I already had one fish roll right here, and it's, wow. This is just one of so many places to go and fish here at Main Lodge. That's what I love, I mean, oh. I love this. I love this. It's so much fun. Right to you. Right there, into the net. Yes! There's the fly. Barbless Locked right out. Nice. Barbless. And there's the fish. Beautiful Atlantic salmon. Okay. Newfoundland is a very special place. Its people, its rugged terrain, and the incredible fishery. There are few places in this world like it. If you can get the opportunity, I strongly recommend you come to Arlock Outfitters and experience the splendors of this magnificent land and live the dry fly fantasy like I did. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association. Orvis Sporting Traditions Scientific Anglers Umpqua Feather Merchants Superfly Fly Fishing Made Easy